I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I am presenting you this interesting case of 45 years old male who had a history of uh, mine blast injury in a war torn area. So he got these metallic foreign bodies uh, embedded in corneal stroma as well as conjunctiva. You can see here now we are showing the medial fornix and you can see a large metallic piece in the medial fornix near medial canthus and also one large metallic piece just superior to the pupillary margin. So the thing about uh, blast injuries is that the it's a very high velocity projectile injury and uh, the pieces metallic pieces they are steroid so there is no element of infection with them that's why this patient is having those numerous metallic pieces from the last 10 years without any complaints but now he presented with decreased vision <clears throat> so here we are showing you different uh, techniques of corneal illumination as well diffuse we will also do sclerotic uh, scatter at the end when the opacities they will appear black and cast their shadows and also direct illumination diffuse illumination oblique illumination so he also told us that uh, at the time of injury these the uh, both eyes were full of uh, metallic foreign bodies but uh, doctors uh, wash the furnaces and uh, corneas with uh, normal saline they removed a lot of uh, bodies and also with the topical anesthesia lot of superficial metallic foreign bodies were removed with corneal forceps and needle but still those who are very deep they are still present when i did refraction he was press biop here you can see the large metallic piece and you can also if you look closely the shadows on the iris of these foreign bodies and now On sclerotic scatter you can see that all these foreign bodies in the cornea they are illuminated so we didn't touch those because they were silent we observed the fundus the iris for sidrosis and also we gave him press biopic correction thank you very much